We go live to Brazil. President Lula da Silva addresses the nation after Bolsonaro supporters stormed government buildings. Let's listen. Today, something sad news happened in Brazil. Bolsonaro supporters stormed the, the government buildings, picking the Supreme Court and the Penalto Palace, the seat of the government of Brazil. This comes just six, a week, exactly a week, after President Lula da Silva's inauguration ceremony. These acts have been seen, have been denounced as as a possible. Oh, we have seen no live still. Paragraph, fifth paragraph, paragraph. The interventionist will exercise all powers in the states according to the Constitution, according to Article 168, Article 64. There could have a petition to the state secretariat can move military forces to ensure public security. Artic fifth article, this will be enforced in the date of publication. 2002 of the independence. I have decided to come because I was in Sao Paulo and before coming back I wanted to give my solidarity to a, to a partner and Arawaya people and the victims of the families. You know they died, these people died. I came here with the minister and together with the regional development minister so the people could discuss and know do you know how the reparations will cost we know that in Brazil there are many cities that have problems with the rainfalls but unfortunately unfortunately genocide Gen genocidal who abandoned power didn't leave any money so we can solve problems and take care of people take care of the people uh, in front of disasters that's why I came here in calm I thought they were going to invite me to eat when we began watching on TV all these vandals marching to Planalto. They invaded the institutions, they broke a lot of things, and unfortunately, the ones that need to take care of security is federal police, and they didn't do that. There was some kind of incompetence from the people in charge of taking care of federal welfare. You're going to watch the uh, images that were guiding people in, the, in that march. The 30th, in my inauguration, the day before, Brasilia military police were was, were guiding these vandals and they did nothing to ensure security those police officers are not going to escape with impunity they are not worth trust trustworthy from this decree we're going to be able to take care of the institutional figure of a federal district and we will we'll be able to ensure that this doesn't happen again we need to make an example of these people and they need to be punished so no one ever dares soiling the national flag and taking it to Brazilian institutions to say that they are Bolsonaro sympathizers 
this had never happened in this country not even in the 60s a, that a group would go and commit such acts in the House of Representatives. I'm going to come back to Brasilia and I'm going to visit the three institutions that were broken and burnt down. And you can be sure that this is not going to avoid my work and that I find out who's responsible for it, who pay for all of this. I'm going to find out if there was an omission from someone in the federal government, is that person is also going to be punished. I lost elections in 89 and 94 and 98. I never did any anything like that, me or any of my supporters. Former president not only provoked that, but he's also encouraging other people to do that by social media. So they continue with it. He ran away from this. After the Democratic Party in January the, the 1st, and after inauguration, the whole world saw us, and the working people never did that. The Indians, the indigenous population and the African descendant population have never done that. These people were already in Brasilia, and these people uh, the people are afraid to go to Brasilia because of all the instigators there. Today, on Sunday, when people were coming back to their houses, everybody knows that there are a lot of speeches of a former president of the Republic encouraging all this. He encouraged the Supreme Court. Every, every chance he has, he encourages violence. We're going to hold accountable all the parties that support him. We're going to that, do that very quickly. I would like to thank you because I can hear to do something else, but we already we have already talked and we have already informed about what the federal government can do to recover this beautiful city called the House of the Sun. On Thursday, together with the state government, we're going to get travel to Brazil yeah, and um, we're going to prove that the state government works. The state needs to put money so that people can recover. You pay taxes, and those taxes go to Brasilia, and in this money needs to come back to repair Arawara. About the, the climate, this is not something with no importance. This is not only about left wing people only. This is this is changing because of a irresponsibility of a human being. We are the only species capable of destroying the environment. A lot of people in Brasilia, perhaps they were garimpeiros, illegal garimpeiros. We have no right to chop trees illegally. If they want to make money uh, from wood, they need to do it legally. But they cannot chop the wood that's patrimony of all humanity. Those people were in Brasilia also today. Agrobusiness. 
they want to profit from Amazon, the Amazon without respect, respecting it. We're going to do research on all these people and we're going to punish them. Please. Uh, excuses. There's a lot of work to be done here. My ministers are here. You can watch the internet and learn from the decree on the internet. Thank you very much. I hope that I can come back to Arawara anytime soon so I am able to have lunch with you. We need to remember who we are. Thank you very much. We were listening to the statements of President Luis Ignacio da Silva. This Sunday, Bolsonaro supporters stormed government buildings, looting and destroying property. President Lula described as vandals the violent demonstrators. Lula said there were mistakes in security and denounced the police authorities for not providing security and said officers and all responsibles were not unpunished. President Lula was adamant that measures will be taken so that today's incidents don't happen again. Lula added that he will travel to Brazil and visit the buildings affected. Lula recalled that he has lost elections in the past and never him or his supporters have done what the far right did today. President Lula underlined that they will not stop until all those responsible face justice. More information on this and other topics in upcoming news briefs. Stay tuned.